Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence. This is my channel about electric cars from a different perspective. And what do you do if you own a Hyundai Ioniq 5, Hyundai Ioniq 6, the Kia EV6, or a Kia EV9, and the trim that you bought doesn't come with the Kia or Hyundai vehicle to load adapter? Well, fortunately, there are aftermarket products. This one happens to be the Electron vehicle to load adapter. It's less expensive, but the questions are, is it as good? Does it work just as well as this product? Is the quality up to the level of this product? And if you want to find out all about it, stick around, I'll show you in 10 seconds. In case you're wondering what a V2L adapter is or a vehicle to load adapter, it's something that you plug into the back of a compatible electric vehicle and gives the user access to an AC outlet. That means that you can plug in various accessories like laptops and even power tools. Now, in the case of Hyundai, it's the Ionic 5 and Ionic 6, and that's what the Electron adapter was designed for. But that raises a question. Is the Electron adapter compatible with Kia products like the Kia EV6 that I've got here, and even the Kia EV9? Let's find out. So what do you get when you order the Electron vehicle to load adapter? Well, this is a little box. I'll have links to where you can order this down in the description below. But essentially, what you get is a user guide, and you get the Electron vehicle to load adapter. Now the Electron adapter, as you can tell, isn't very big and in comparison to the original adapter from Hyundai and Kia, it's quite small. Now that's one of the advantages and one of the things that I like about this adapter is that it takes much less space and you can throw this in the front without any issues. Now there are a couple differences that I noticed with the Electron adapter versus the original Kia one. Now the biggest one is the fact that on the back of this adapter there's no on-off button. On the back of the Hyundai one, You'll notice that there's this on off button right here and that allows you to turn it on and off and engage the vehicle to load function in the vehicle. Now the difference on this one is that the button is inside this adapter right here and what that means is you have to have something plugged in. This leads to something that's not so interesting and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Other than that, it is essentially the same. And when I first got it, I was looking at the Electron box, and on the box, there's nothing that really gives you any certifications. There's no CE, there's no CSA, there's no UL, and I didn't quite understand why that wouldn't be on it, and it was a bit of a concern. But then, I took this device out, and I took the packaging, and I looked at everything that came with it, and it has no certifications on it either. So, does that make a difference? Well, I guess not, if Hyundai and Kia and Genesis don't have any certifications on their adapter. I guess it's not a big deal that the Electron adapter doesn't have any either. Now, with that being said, any of the other differences that I've noticed are essentially the plastic is a little bit more plasticky than the Hyundai Kia one. The connector or the button on this to release is a little bit more robust, a little more tactile. This one feels slightly cheaper. I mean, it's not cheap feeling, but it, this one definitely feels a little more engaged. And this connector here, or this thing here, which locks it into place, is actually made of metal, whereas the one from Electron is made of plastic. Now that brings up the point that this is much less expensive. So less metal, more plastic, less expensive. Now with that all being said and out of the way, how does this thing work? Let's go have a look. When the Electron vehicle to load adapter was originally released, it was originally released for the Ionic 5. Now we all know that that works because it's existed for a couple of years now, but what about the Hyundai Ionic 6? It's been added to the compatibility list, so let's have a look at how that works. I'll just grab the hairdryer and plug it in and see what happens. As expected, it works with the Ionic 6 because it's part of the compatibility list, but what about answering that question about the EV6? We'll get to the EV9 very shortly. I've got a whole bunch of accessories on the table here, including power tools, and as you might be able to see at the bottom, a giant vacuum, which is also a leaf blower. So let's plug in the V2L adapter and see if they work. Plug it in, make sure it's clicked in. 
Now, one of the differences that I mentioned before is that this doesn't have a button on it to turn it on and off, but it's got this little button that gets depressed and it tells the vehicle load adapter that it's connected to the car and that the car knows that it's there. So let's start with something that doesn't draw a lot of current. That's this hair dryer. You just plug this into the adapter like this. Now plugging it in pushes that little button and tells the car to turn the vehicle to load service on, which it just did because I heard a click and inside the car I heard a little ding. And then we turn on the hair dryer to see if it works. We're good to go. So the hair dryer obviously doesn't pull 15 amps and I didn't expect that to fail. But what about the next thing? Another light duty thing is the light that I've got here. We'll just unplug the hair dryer. Take out this little utility light. Now once again, this is a very light use tool. It's gonna draw next to nothing, so I expect it to work perfectly, but it is three pronged, it's grounded, and we can still plug it in because this is a three prong outlet. So let's plug that in. It just clicked on, and my antique light works. Now the real question, can you plug in a power tool that draws a ton of power? Now, even though this is a drill, it's got a two prong outlet. So we'll just stick that into the adapter. Being a real power tool, this thing draws a ton of power. The adapter just clicked and I heard the car ding. So will it make it jump? Now, if you need to do renovations, you can plug your tools into this thing and it works. But now for the big question, will a shop vacuum get plugged into this and blow the circuit or will it work? Well, let's grab that and find out now. Now my corded drill pulls a lot of power, but I'm guessing that this thing pulls either the same or more. It's a combo leaf blower and shop vacuum, and I have no idea what the rating is, but I'm guessing that it pulls quite a bit. Now again, it's a two prong outlet. We'll just plug it into here. And let's find out if this will actually work can you vacuum your car with your shop vacuum while it's plugged into your V-Tool adapter? Yes, you can. So if you've got a filthy car, you want to use your vacuum, you're not close to the jack that's at the house, well, you can just plug it into the V-Tool adapter and away you go. Now that we've proven that it works on the Kia EV6, even though it's not part of the compatibility list, now your mileage may vary because this is a 2022 early production vehicle. The newer vehicles may vary slightly, so you'll have to test it and find out. Now, with regards to newer vehicles, what about the Kia EV9 that I mentioned? Is it gonna work on the EV9? Well, let's have a look. Flip the cover down. We'll take the power bar that I've got connected to both of my devices, plug it into the adapter. What you'll notice once you've plugged something into it is that the doors or the port will lock and then you'll get a display on the screen showing that the V2L is functional, which is currently the case. Now the power bar is turned on and let's see if the Nespresso machine will turn on. Yes, it does. And what about the frother? There we go. So, being a coffee princess that I am, my Nespresso machine will work when I'm camping with the Electron Vehicle to Load Adapter and the Kia EV9. Now, just before we get to the things that I like and the things that I like a little bit less about the Electron Vehicle to Load Adapter, I wanted to let you know that this channel is evolving. Now, like the name Evolution says, big things are here to come, we're gonna be growing. Now, what does that mean? Well, you have to subscribe to my channel to find out and make sure you click that notification bell because I have absolutely no posting schedule. Now, with that being said, a subscribe is super important for this channel because if you wanna see more things like the Kia EV9 that I did in the last video and things like the Ionic 5N and the new Ionic 6 and a refreshed EV6 and all of these other vehicles like the new Polestars, etc., it's super important that you subscribe to my channel to help me get past that 15,000 subscriber level and then just skyrocket because that gives me more credibility with regards to manufacturers. And that way I can answer your questions about electric vehicles. Now, having said that, what about the Electron Vehicle to Load Adapter? Well, there are a few things that I like and a few things that I like a little bit less. The things that I like about this adapter are the fact that it's a much smaller form factor than the original Hyundai Kia Genesis adapter. That means that it's easier to store in your frunk, takes a little bit less space and easier to manipulate. 
The other thing that I like, or that's an advantage for you guys, is that it's much less expensive. Now, the fact that it's less expensive puts a little bit more money in your pocket and gives you still a quality product. Now, what about the things I don't like? Well, there are a couple things. The vehicle load adapter from Lectron doesn't have an on-off button like the Hyundai Kia one. What that means is it's got this little depressing or depression button when you stick something in it, it presses it. Well, if there's nothing plugged into this and it's stuck into the back of your car, when the charge port automatically closes after the predetermined amount of time, it hits the back of the adapter. That has happened to me a couple times with both the Ionic 5 and my EV6. So a little bit of a nitpicky thing, but not so great. The other thing that I don't like, the EV6 and EV9 from Kia are not on the official compatibility list. Now, not being on the official compatibility list doesn't mean that it doesn't work, and I've proven that in this video, but that doesn't mean that it might not work for your car. So in the end, it's up to you to decide if you want to buy it. It worked for me, it should work for you. Audio sync one, two, three. Audio sync one, two, three. So now that that's on, <laughs> music. Okay, start all over. When you order the lick, it compares to the original in a big way. Uh, the adapter itself. Now the electron vehicle. Of the I'm sure it pulls more power. No, I'm not sure it pulls more power. I have no idea, and that's what I was supposed to say. Now that we've proven that it works with the Kia EV, Kia EV6. Hey, it's a fish. I've done it a thousand times.